Uh, all right. Uh, so our project is uh the fake new generator. All right, so I'm first I'm gonna do a little uh demo. All right. Uh, so this is where you can generate a uh, fake news. So first you can generate a fake news headline. So you can choose a category of news you want, like a uh, crime or political, or whatever. And do crime, and you can put in a prompt. I'm putting Donald Trump as a. All right, uh, so now we can click this button to generate a headline. And uh, right now it's generating, just gonna wait for it to finish. All right. Uh, so uh, now we can use the headline and you can generate an article in the back end. So I'm just gonna button. All right, uh, so the model we're using does take a while to generate the article. Uh, so we're now we're just gonna leave it to generate and we're gonna come back to it later. Okay. So while that is generating, I'm gonna start with sharing what our project's about. So the project that our team made is called the Fake News Generator. It does exactly as it sounds. It generates fake news for you in six different topics, political, crime, entertainment, comedy, impacts, and world news. Um, this project, first, it will generate a headline with any prompt in any topic that you choose. And after that, you can choose to generate an article in the back end. And you can choose to see it, or you could choose not to. Um, we also created a crude Discord bot that so far only generates crime, the crime fake news headlines. In order to train our AI, we use uh, a data set from Kaggle, which consisted of different topics when, that was labeled in like, each category, such as like the crime and political that you saw before. And um, we had to use MLTK and the string library to basically just split each topic into its like own separate area. And yeah. Uh, so the way that we trained the models was through AI TextGen. Uh, we used AI TextGen to successfully generate our fake news headlines. To make our article generator, we deployed Grover, which was a model that was trained with a 120 gigabyte news data set. We didn't do the training, but that's really impressive. Uh, our training process with AI TextGen would usually take about 30 to 40 minutes for each category. And with the generated headlines, we utilized Grover to generate the content. We had some problems when making the models and the most notable of which being the article generation, which would cause 502 timeouts on the website. We were able to solve this problem with multi-processing so multiple tasks could be tackled at the same time. Along with our fake news, generator, we also created a Discord for fake news. So far, it only creates crime. So hopefully in the future or with more time, we could have done more topics. But similar to our website, it generates fake news headlines according to a message prompt that you put in the channel. So some of our best results were when we put in Joe Biden, it says it responded with Joe Biden is jailed after child pornography probe. And another example we did was Xi Jinping who calls justice for Jason and if I saw these headlines on a news article I probably would believe it's real news and I will share my screen and show a live demo if anybody would like to um, say a prompt for me to put in if not I'll put in my own Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay, I'll put in Donald Trump. Oh, okay. Working, but. I can't see your screen. I will stop share.
Enter, enter the prompt, Washington, D.C. has been nuked. Um, just a quick question. Are you sharing or are you having trouble sharing? Apologies for the terrible internet, but I will continue. There you go. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so before I was kicked out, um, I heard a prompt for Dwayne The Rock jo Johnson. And for a crime, it says Jane, Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't an accident. So probably not one of the best results we could have gotten, but still a pretty believable fake news article headline. Do Washington, D.C. nuked? Yes, Washington, D.C. nuked. Nuked, okay. by, nuked by Vladimir Putin himself. Okay. Well, the results came up with Washington, D.C. nuked by Orlando shooter Omar Mate. Don't know where that name came from, but. Oh, that happened a long time ago. Yeah. So I will head off the presentation to Leroy, who will talk about our challenges. Some problems that we faced during the project were time constraints, time constraints, technical difficulties, and more, such as model generation and limited code coding knowledge. Although we faced these challenges, we're still able to overcome them and produce an amazing final result. Okay, this is our team. I'm going to start by introducing myself. I'm Ashley. I'm from the class of 2027, um, 2009er. Uh, I'm Christina Joseph, class of 2024, upcoming junior. And along with AI, I have a passion for robotics and music. Uh, I'm Dorian, and uh, I like to play video games. And I also like to sleep. One day I shall touch grass. Uh, my name is Irene. I worked on world news and front end design. And I'm from the class of 2025. Um, my name is Lira Fedrick and um, oh, I love coding and music. Uh, my name is Steven. Um, and I like playing video games and programming. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna share the results of the um, the generating now. All right. So this is <clears throat> so based off the headline Donald Trump's image. It generated uh, this news article. Uh, Donald Trump, post election editor, he may or may not have gotten it wrong. Um, has reenacted a vintage speech given in a 1970s interview at a suburban Texas barbecue restaurant, Tape No Further. And uh, it's kind of a long article. But I mean, it looks like a real human wrote it. Uh, so I'd say um, the model works pretty well. 